Here we are then at the start of our third week of UEFA Euro 2024 previews and today we reach the nation of Serbia. They were very close to winning the European Championships back in the 1960s when part of Yugoslavia but just missed out on both occasions. And in 1994, expectation was sky high heading into the tournament as Yugoslavia, but they were banned right at the last due to the ongoing war in the nation. And many of those players ended up going on to have great success with Croatia. They really are a what could have been nation. And as an independent nation, they've been better at qualifying for FIFA World Cups, as this will be their first ever UEFA European Championship appearance. In terms of how they qualified, they finished behind Hungary in second place, but ahead of their former countryman, Montenegro. They picked up a crucial victory over Montenegro back in November, which was crucial to end in any doubts about whether or not they would qualify. Unsurprisingly, Mitrovic finished as their top scorer in qualifying with five goals. But there have been concerns more recently. They played a friendly against Russia, where they lost 4-0. Their coach is Dragan Stojkovic, who had been coaching over in Japan and China in more recent times. He is actually the former president of the Serbian and Montenegro FA between 2001 and 2005. And this will be the second tournament in a row that he's led his country to. At the World Cup, they finished bottom at the group, but they were very lively throughout and were only a few minutes away from finishing in second position and ultimately making the next round. In terms of players to watch, their captain is 35-year-old Duzan Tadic. He remains prolific though with double figures this season in the Turkish league for Fenerbahce. He sits now on 106 caps for Serbia. He has just broken the record from Branislav Ivanovic. He had quite a memorable 2018-19 season with Ajax where ultimately he was nominated for the Ballon d'Or and reached the UEFA Champions League team of the season. In terms of their star player though, it has to be Alexander Mitrovic. He has 57 goals in 89 caps for his nation. He was previously at Fulham for five seasons where he was incredibly prolific, including a season where he scored 43 goals in 44 matches. He's now at Al Hilal in Saudi Arabia where he's got 22 goals in 22 matches this season. In terms of one to watch though, I'm going with Strahinja Pavlovic, the six foot four demon of a centre back. He's just 22 years old and playing over at Red Bull Salzburg in Austria. And despite being quite young, he already has 33 caps for his nation and he's regularly linked with bigger moves to the likes of Juventus and Roma. In terms of other observations on this squad, they have a very experienced midfield. Obviously, they have the likes of Tadic, but also Malinkovic, Savic, Kostic, Lukic and Zivkovic. And in terms of how they line up, Stojkovic is a tinkerer, but I would probably punt on the facts of him going for a three at the back, four, two, one formation. This allows him to get his greatest ensemble of players into the starting lineup. In terms of what they hope will happen, they will hope they can qualify from this group, reach the knockouts in their first ever Euros with their experienced players, with their level heads proving the difference. In terms of what I think will happen is I'm slightly concerned that many of their key players like Mitrovic, like Milinkovic Savic are playing in Saudi Arabia where the intensity is far lower than at the Euros and I think that may prove to be a problem for them and I think they're going to finish in bottom position. In terms of their odds they sit at 66 to 1 which means they're not as much of an outsider as perhaps I'm suggesting that they are. But let me know what you think about Serbia as a whole and let me know how you think they're going to get on against the likes of Slovenia and Denmark. That is a very close three teams that really could go either way but let me know what you're thinking in regards to them it's been good to be back for another week and i look forward to seeing you again tomorrow when we come to the three lines of england take care everyone